sharing with you absolutely new questions for Equio 9. These are based on pseudocode and testing your computer literacy. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are taking up three very important questions which are based on logical skills. You can say computer literacy. For Equio 9, this is going to be a new topic this year in 2024. So I hope uh, your knowledge of this particular solution will help you and will also give you an edge over other students. Whereas, as I mentioned earlier, you can always ask for the free copy of printable PDF by sending an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We are discussing few questions from this sample test question of 2024, EQAO 9. The question number 16, as mentioned here, is six lines of pseudocode are given. Set number equals to zero, output. Enter a number, store user input as number, step one equals to 10 minus number, step two equals to three times step one minus four, output step two. So these are the six statements of a pseudocode. Question here is, what is the value of step two? if the number input is 4 and 4 options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now very similar to this, we have two more questions. The idea here is to understand the concept so that if such a question comes in your test, then you are successfully able to answer it within no time perfect so let us see how do we answer this question meanwhile let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest and posting excellent questions and suggestions because of you our channel has some brilliant questions to discuss Okay, so now let's look into the solution of this problem. So let's go and understand these six statements. First one is set number equals to zero. So whenever we write a computer program, we set the variables to zero. That is, we initialize the variables. as most of you know so number is one of our variables so everything which is in bold is our variable so we'll put zero in the variable number output enter a number so this is asking for a number to be inputted by the user right then store user input as number so whatever number you input will now be stored in the variable number itself. So that number becomes the number now. Step 1. Step 1 in bold also shows another variable which is equal to 10 minus the number. So this time this number is the 1 which you entered. Step 2 is a mathematical operation 3 times step 1 minus 4. And then you output step 2. So whatever is stored in step 2 will be the output. So we need to find the final answer which is step 2. What number is finally in step 2? If the input is 4, right? So, so let's go through it once again with the input number being 4. So what happens really is we first say that the number equals to 0, right? 
So that is initialization. Then enter the number. So when you enter the number, store user input as number. Then in that case, the number this time, since you enter 4, will now be 4. Clear? Then step 1 will be what? Step 1 will be 10 minus the number itself, which is 6. 10 minus 4, you'll get 6. And in step 2, what do you get? Step 2 is 3 times, so that is multiplication, 3 times 6. And then minus 4. So this is the operation, which gives you 18 minus 4. And that is 14. And therefore, the solution is C. Is that clear to you? So that is how we have to interpret the information. So those of you for whom this pseudocode is kind of new, I think you must have understood what we are trying to do here, right? So we define variables and associate them with some numbers, do some operations and store those numbers into another variable, and then we try to output it. So input and output are the commands which you can see on the screen, right? So I hope all this is absolutely clear. Perfect. Okay. So now, once this is clear, I would like you to answer the second question, right? So as you can see, we have moved up. Question number 17 is the question for you to answer. It is very similar to the very first one which we discussed. Idea here is to ensure that you understand the complete concept. Perfect. Well, those of you who want to learn and excel, they can send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We are taking students these days. And our students are there on the top. Perfect. Great. So the next is, again, same program with a minor difference. Six lines of pseudocode are given. Set number to zero. Output, enter a number. Store user input as number, step 1, 10 minus number, what is this? Square of the number. Step 2, 3 times step 1 plus 24, output step 2. What is the value of step 2? That means the output if the input number is 4. So, once again, let us do the operations. Perfect. So, some of you must have got the answer. You can now check your answer. So, when we are asked to enter a number, then number 4 is entered, right, this time. Then this number goes to the number itself. Step 1 is 10 minus number square, means 10 minus 4 square. You see that? So, 10 minus 4 square is 10 minus 16, which is minus 6, correct? Step 2 is, now in step 1, we have a number which is minus 16. Step 2 is 3 times, so 3 times, let's write this in bracket, means multiplication, right? Minus 6, correct? Plus 24, right? So that is minus 18 plus 24, right? Yeah. So minus 18 plus 24 is what, right? 2 plus 4, 6. So it is 6 plus, which is option B. Makes sense, right? So that becomes the solution of this particular problem. Is that clear to you, right? So go through this solution once again, understand the strategy, and then get ready to take the third question. So here is third and the final question for you. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Exactly same type of question. We still have six lines of coding here where we define a number, input a number, put that number into that number. Then step one and step two are followed to get you the result, right? So in this case, let us see. We'll start with the input number. This time it is three, right? So basically we have here three within the number itself. So our variable number has is equal to 3 now. Now, step 1 is number q. So, so <clears throat> 3 to the power of 3, how much is this? Which is 27. 
Now step two is twenty minus step one, so you get twenty minus twenty seven, which is seven. Correct. So we have seven in it now, but a negative seven. Do you see that? Twenty minus twenty seven, so negative seven. Output is step two, which is negative seven, right? So so the output is a, which is given to us as negative seven. So you see how we have answered these questions, and I hope with this you have understood this addition to our curriculum for grade nine students, where they are now learning to code and do a part of mathematics with the help of pseudo codes. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.